girl with a super sexy voice. Is that right, Julie? Why? Well, yeah. Basically, they don't want to look at me, so if it's all in the dark, <laughs> everything's in the dark. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, get the best out of the vocal cords. Hello, Grant, who's a designer with very set ideas. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm uh, studying to be a set designer in film and television. Oh, right. Oh, well, what do you think yeah. about our set, then? Do you like it? It's a bit tacky, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's, it's a bit of a revamped uh, Mr. and Mrs., isn't it? What do you mean, Mr. and Mrs.? Oh, yeah. I designed the set. <laughs> Anyway, good luck uh, with your uh, with your job. And we've got Spencer who's looking for his perfect pretty woman. Young Spencer. Young Spencer. Thank you very much. <laughs> what do you Julia. mean, Spence? Julia Roberts. I love her. You do? She's beautiful. Uh huh. She won't ring me anymore, though. No, I know. I don't know why. Telephone bills are a bit expensive these days. Isn't it? You have to cut back a bit, you know. <laughs> anyway, come on, let's get some questions going then, shall we? Where do you want to go first? Let's go back to the first bird, Charlotte. First bird, Charlotte. Um, how old were you when you were told the facts of life? How old were you when you were told the facts of life? And of course you're going to tell us how old you were in a moment, but of course I want to know exactly what was said at the time. But uh, under 10, between 10 and 16, or you're still not sure? Uh, I don't think I'm sure yet. I'm an innocent girl, Bruno. You're not sure about the facts of life at all? I'm not beginning bits. It's just, I haven't read the last chapter yet. You know the end. <laughs> well, you started first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody else. I mean, how old were you when you were told the facts of life? Are you under 10, between 10 and 16, or you're still not sure? I want you to choose one of those three answers now. So we start to talk about the facts of life on television. Now, Julian reckons that he was told the facts of life when you were, well, under 10 years of age. I started early, and I'm still trying to catch up. <laughs> what happened then? I mean, did your dad sort of come to you one day whilst you're chewing over your breakfast and saying, now listen here, son, this is what well, happens. I was, I had, a, I had, a, I had a cocked romance, one of those really young ones. Then my little brother spoiled it. I was playing doctors and nurses, and my little brother stormed into the bedroom. I've been a hippie to ever since, really. Well, what about you, Grant? You're still not sure, then? No, I haven't got a clue. No, oh, you don't, you so... No. You're very naive. I'm very totally naive. Ignorant, yeah, totally. You, Spencer, how old are you when you were taught the well, facts? I wasn't about? really ever told. Uh, this 30 year old woman seduced me in a toilet and I. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of a six. <laughs> Next question, please. Let's go to Julian. Okay, Julian. What kind of cigar, what kind of cigar, if you did smoke one, would you choose? Would it be a big chroma, sort of Winston Churchill type, a medium sized cigar, or a small one? It'd have to be a small one. Why is that? Well, it's sort of like one of those things they say about envy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. What about everybody else? What would you choose? Do you go for the big chroma, a medium-sized cigar, or a small, a small one? So, I mean, do cigars say anything about your facts of life? I don't know. Choose now. One, two, or three. Spencer's gone for a small one. No, you've gone for a big one. Go for a biggie. Why is that? Bigger is better. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah, now you've gone for a small one. Um, I've gone for a small one because it's not uh, the quantity, it's the quality. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, Lisa, finally, which one have you gone for? Remember, if you smoked a cigar, which one would you go for? You've gone for a small one. It would be the small one because they're more classy. The long one with the holder, very small, delicate. This shows uh, a, more about you and your, yeah. your personality and the way you are. Next question. Okay, let's go to Back Charlotte. To oh. What do you think of Mr. Universe type, Charlotte? You ready? Arnold Schwarzenegger is my hero. It's not natural. Or you have some other reaction? Uh, some other reaction. What's that? It's personality, it's not looks. It's what the person's like inside. If they're kind, that's all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. This is a big R for Charlotte. Oh. So, uh, Grant, let me ask you, I mean, what do you think of Mr. Universe types? Arnold Schwarzenegger is my hero, it's not natural, or you have some other reaction? What, what is my hero? These are like, uh, these aren't shoulder pads. These are real. They are your real shoulders, though. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, Julian, what about you? Are you into muscles and stuff no, like I'm that? I'm incredibly weedy, so, like, <laughs> keep well out of it. Yeah. You would agree with Charlotte that it's really yeah, the, uh, the personality that counts. Everybody go for a choice in this, very quickly. Arnold Schwarzenegger is my hero, it's not natural, or you have some other reaction. Just, uh... Give us a quick choice on that. Spencer, very quickly, what's your reaction to that? Oh, I've really thought about it, so I haven't got a reaction there. 
<laughs> no spark here with Spencer right. at the moment, I'm afraid. You're going to have to jam up a bit over there. Are you listening? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, next question. We'll go to Sarah this time. Okay, Sarah. For no apparent reason, a drunken woman attacks you in a pub. Do you clobber her on with your handbag, restrain her, or beat a hasty retreat? What would you do? I'd uh, probably beat a hasty retreat, probably, but I'd probably do all three of them, or I probably wouldn't know what to do, because uh, she'd probably be so drunk, she'd probably bowl me over and I'd fall over with her, so we'd both be trying to struggle to get up, so... Whatever happens, uh, I'd hope we'd both be all right in the end. Yeah, all right, and well, everybody else. For no apparent reason, a drunken woman attacks you in the pub. Do you club her, restrain her, or beat a hasty retreat? Interesting answer from the guys, I hope, coming up. Let's all choose now. And, Spencer, you'd restrain her. Let's see, Grant, you would club her one. <laughs> With your handbag? Oh, yes, the army here. It's on the floor. Okay, now it's time to choose each other. I hope you found out just a little bit about each other, enough to sort of make your, your choice for your partner. And you're now going to have to do it on television, so make sure it's the right one. Okay, so when you're ready, make your choice right now. Can I make an analysis on Grant? Yeah. He knows nothing about set design, because our set's fantastic. Yes. He knows nothing about the facts of life, which is actually admitted to us. He expects us to believe that those shoulders are his own, which I'm sure they're actually not. And also, what was the last thing he said? I don't know, you remind me. I can't remember. Let's go into a commercial break. <laughs> right, okay.